With the recent backlash of Streamlabs, everyone's been trying to switch to an alternative and I will show you how to do it. If you have been out of the loop and you don't know what's been happening, basically Streamlabs has been accused of stealing a lot of stuff from Lightstream, OBS Studio, even Elgato. Everyone's been furious and honestly, I highly uh, support them. And uh, I've been telling you guys about Streamlabs OBS and how bad it actually is and why you shouldn't use it, why you should use alternatives like OBS Studio or even the Stream Elements one. It is really good. I've been using the Stream Elements OBS, which is basically just like a plugin on top of the OBS one. It's not the standalone program like the Streamlabs OBS, which they it's not even called Streamlabs OBS anymore. They completely changed the name because of the backlash. And honestly, they should have done that months ago, years ago, but nothing happened. So if you do want to switch from Streamlabs, to OBS Studio or Stream Elements OBS, which is the same thing. I will show you how it is really simple. It takes a few minutes. It's really easy. Let me show you how to do it. Let's get straight to the point. If you guys don't know, my name is Agent. I'm a full time Twitch partner. I stream every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. I would love to see you there. Now let's go and show you how to import stuff from Streamlabs to other programs. Let's go. All right, so now that we are in the Streamlabs OBS program, I just downloaded this to show you how to do it. I don't really use this program. I'm going to uninstall it as soon as I finish this video. But I made a test scene with just the image over here just to you know show you how it works and all of that. So now that you've done this, uh, you can go ahead and click on the cogwheel as well and go to scene collections. Over here, you can see export overlay file. A lot of people think that exporting this overlay file is going to work and it's going to be able to be imported into OBS. Sadly, uh, OBS doesn't support the overlay files. It just supports JSON and whatever else. So this is not going to work. Don't even try to do this. It is actually really easy what you have to do. Uh, you have to open your file explorer and I will show you how to get to this part where we have to uh, where we have to get. So what you have to do is type percentage app data percentage. So do that, click enter, and it's going to open up this roaming folder. Once you're in the roaming folder, all you have to do is scroll down until you find something called uh, Slobs Client. There's a Streamlabs OBS, but that's not what we need. We need Slobs Client. Click on Slobs Client, go into Scene Collections right here, and then over here, you will see a lot of these files uh, like JSON and Back. We are not really interested in this uh, back file. We need this JSON file. So it says Adobe After Effects. I'm not sure why it says that, but these are the files we need. One, two, uh, this one manifest. This is not what we need. So one, two, I have two scenes, uh, which I made for testing purposes. Uh, you can check them out. If you click properties, they are JSON files. And those are the ones that we are going to be importing into the OBS. So you, what you can do, you can copy these and move them to desktop if you want to easily import them. Or you can just leave them over here and I'll show you how to import them within OBS. All right, so now that we are in OBS Studio, aka Stream Elements OBS, what you can do right here is go to Scene Collections and click Import. Once you do that, it's going to open up this window right here and you will see uh, the collection pad, the text application. Maybe it's going to automatically detect the application and the scene collection. That did not work for me. I've seen it work for some people, but if it doesn't, click on these three dots and then basically do the same exact thing. Uh, percentage, app data, percentage, enter, and then you go do the same thing, slobs, client, and then scene collections. Once you do that, you will see these two uh, scene collections, basically whichever ones you want to uh, import. Because they're named like these weird names, uh, import all of them, see which one you actually need or which one you want, double click it, and then it's going to say right here scenes and then the path and then Streamlabs. You can click import and it's going to add it to uh, stream to the OBS studio basically. And then over here, if you click scene collections, you will see it right over here. Because I didn't import it because I don't want it, uh, I don't have it over here, but that's how you can do it. You can also do the same thing with stream elements through the stream elements website. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so now that we are on the Stream Elements website, if you want to actually import stuff from Stream Elements uh, or from Streamlabs over to Stream Elements, it's pretty simple as well. Uh, you know, like the alerts and the uh, tips and all of that stuff. You can go to this link that I will link down 
in the description below as well or you can click on your like you just go to the stream elements website you click on your profile picture and then you go to import and then over here you can choose streamlabs so let's go and do it through this thing over here i think it's easier uh here we have a lot of these different services uh if you use the ank bot or stream streamlabs uh, their own bot whatever uh, you can do that and copy the uh, the bot commands over to stream elements bot uh, you can do that here but we are going to be focusing on the streamlabs uh, alert box and tips so you click install over here it's going to open up the chrome website you click install on the extension you have to install the extension once you install the extension you can click over here find it it's called streamlabs export to stream elements you click it and over here it says start import to stream stream elements and you can choose if you want to import tips and the alerts if it doesn't work make sure you open up the streamlabs website and you log into it so make sure to uh, have both stream elements website and the streamlabs website opened up logged in that way the uh, the plugin is going to actually work the extension is going to work otherwise if you click it it's just gonna say error or it's just not gonna work at all so make sure you're logged in into both streamlabs and stream elements website at the same time run the plugin it's gonna import everything you will see it over here if you go to streaming tools and then my overlays if you click on my overlays it's gonna open up all of these overlays over here and those imported ones are going to be there as well make sure to click them check them out sometimes then they know to glitch out and then you just have to play with them a little bit at least you don't have to start from scratch and it's going to be super super easy so that's how you do it i think it's really simple really easy and if you don't want to support streamlabs anymore i highly suggest switching to either stream elements or the normal vanilla obs studio it is they're both really good they both offer really good functionality they're open source and you just cannot go wrong with them i also have a lot of different obs studio uh, tips and trick videos and best recording settings and best streaming settings so make sure to check those out also uh, on my channel anyway hope you like this video if you did make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe check out my twitch channel where i stream every single day except sunday link down in the description below and i will see you in the next video peace out and have a good one bye bye